Six events, thousands of participants, hundreds of volunteers, and all to promote the Central Otago region. We welcome representing Central Otago District, the Cromwell and Districts Promotion Group. Hi, I'm Neil Gillespie and I'm proud to be a born and bred local of Cromwell and to be the current Chairman of the Community Board and Deputy Mayor for Central Otago. Viv Beck and I are here today representing the Cromwell and Districts Promotion Group. This group was set up in 1987, back in the days when Cromwell was a town destined to be flooded by the creation of the Clyde Dam, back when it needed to find a way to ensure a viable long-term future. The community helped itself and thought of ways to bring people to our town to play and to stay. The Promotions Group have been organising a diverse range of events for over 20 years now. From fireworks displays to bike races, they even go to Christchurch to the Canterbury AMP show every year. They organise the annual New Zealand Cherry Spitting Competition. They've now expanded this into a cherry festival with, amongst other things, a very messy pie-eating competition. They are a dedicated bunch of hard workers whose skills have been recognised by other people in our area, so much so that they're now used to assist other groups with their events. It's people like Viv and Beck here, more commonly known as Team Cromwell, that get involved in all the events to ensure that they are well organised and run. As you will see, some of these events require physical activity, and I'm sure you'll appreciate why I'm not hip, up here in Lycra. The summer series is the biggest part of their activities. The series consists of runs, walks, mountain bike races, road cycling and triathlon and duathlon events. Each one is a bit different so there's something for everyone. There's six of them from October to April and it's been bringing thousands of competitors to our district for many years now. Personally I'm more, at the stand of the corner, more of a stand at the corner with my fluoro vest on and direct traffic kind of guy. But Viv and Beck here are the dab hands organising and competing. So I'm going to let them tell you what it's all about. Thanks Neil. Hi, my name's Viv and I'm one of the, some would say mad ones, who have been involved with the summer series since day one. I started out as a serious competitor, always aiming for a personal best at each event. But then the kids came along. At four months pregnant, I was still able to win the sport ride, but have you ever tried getting your leg over a bicycle when you're eight months pregnant? So I was in charge of handing out the drink bottles at the finish line. The great thing now is that both my girls are competing in the summer series, with my eldest winning the 10k ride this year. The girls also love getting their schoolmates together for a team for the Cromwell Half Marathon event. The events are real family affairs. They're not elitist, and best of all, they are affordably priced, so the whole family can have a go. I know lots of people that mark these dates on their calendars each year and set personal goals for each event. Yes, Viv. Hi, I'm Beck, and I've been helping out for years while my husband Brent was competing or marshalling for the fire brigade. I've been officially in the timing crew for the past three years. Each of the events varies in length and where they go, so for some it is a challenge of doing all of them. There is even a prize of a new bike for a rider who entered in all the mountain bike rides. So there are many combinations within each event. For example, individuals in the age groups or in teams, and then there are course variations such as swimming or kayaking the first leg of a triathlon or staying off the water and competing a duathlon. That is why, when we are doing registrations, we have to double check the entry forms to make sure they are entered for the correct category. My favourite job these days is writing the race number on competitors' legs. The cyclists that compete in the Lake Cycle Challenge are the best because those blokes actually wax their legs. They're very nice. Yes, some of those road cyclists are really serious. When they get out past the bridge heading towards Terrace, the front peloton looks like something from the Tour de France. What some riders may not realise that the work that goes on behind the scenes. One of the biggest challenges for the promotion group is working through all the safety and road management plans that are required for running these types of events, especially with them being held on a state highway and also dealing with holiday traffic. Meanwhile, Bex is at the finish line handing out the drink bottles and 
water and um, bananas, keeping a close eye on those nice legs, while I enjoy sitting on the back of the bunch, being sucked along, chatting to all sorts of people, and not to mention the nice views in front. Biking around the lake, I know I'll have a tailwind one way or the other. Well, that's a theory, but Mother Nature can have different ideas. Yes, Mother Nature can throw us some real curveballs too, like when we do the triathlon. If the lake cuts up rough, we may have to change the course, which means a few last minute changes for the marshals. Safety is our main priority. Ultimately, we have to be really careful to account for everyone at the end of the day, so reading back and recording those leg numbers doesn't look like much, but it is extremely important. My husband Brent is one of the local volunteer firemen, like Neil, who marshal on the streets of our road cycling and running events. His favourite job though is out in the boat as a marshal for the kayak leg of the triathlon. Our kids enjoy that one too. The mountain bike events are great to watch. We get to see everyone take off at the starts and fly home at the end in various stages of exhaustion. So having this footage is great because we don't actually get to see too much of what happens in the middle but we get to hear some of the stories of awesome views, tough climbs, broken chains and occasionally a few scraped elbows and knees. We'll send them over to the St John's crew. We're lucky because we also get to see some of the elite athletes at the beginning of their careers. Yes, I've come across plenty of current and up and coming New Zealand representatives in our races. Competing against them is a real inspiration. But the vast majority of our participants are just ordinary folk out there for their well-being or challenging the clock. It is such a great feeling watching them finish, knowing they've given it everything. And as an organiser, that's a great reward. There are many people who, make help, who help make these events happen that the competitors probably don't even know about. For example, our local farmers. They're really great. They lead us on the land, they sort out the gates on the mountain bike rides and tow trailers behind the riders as Tali and Charlie's. Some of them even provide a barbecue and drink stop in the middle of the Nevis Valley on the gut buster ride from the Puppet Garston to the Bannockman Hotel. It's all a lot of hard work, a heap of fun, but I reckon these guys on the mountain bikes take the cake. They're really crazy on those downhill rides. Have a look at this footage. But if you keep your head up, see her smile. Oh, to see her smile. As you've been watching, I'm sure you will have seen that there are a lot of volunteers involved in each and every one of these events. It's these volunteers that love what they do and come back each year to see their friends and neighbours sweat it out in the summer series and marvel at their dedication, the, the dedication of the serious athletes beating their personal best or even course records. The local businesses all contribute generous prizes which the competitors really appreciate. I really enjoy seeing all these fit and healthy people coming back year after year. For more than 15 years now they've been doing it. And it's all down to a hard working community supported by a dedicated bunch of volunteers in Team Cromwell. Lots of people seem to think that they've been to Cromwell when they get their photo taken in front of the big fruit. But when they actually come and take part in different events, they get to see parts of our town and hills that surprise and delight them. Personally, I'd be too exhausted to even look around. None of this is possible without the dedication and commitment of a core group of 20, 40, 50 people. They do a great job and I take my hat off to them. Thank you.